Hey there fellow DC fans, this is JR369, welcome back for another brand new video review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Hero World DC Comics Two-Face and Scarecrow by Funko. Yes, I did found these at my local Target. They're like two bucks, not bad price. I mean, very cheap though. I mean, most people don't see them in stores, but luckily I found this guy. This set. Now the packaging, you can see there's some some exposed window of both Scarecrow and Two Face. Get the Hero World logo. You get, you get the DC logo. It says Funko Final Collectible Series Eight. Warning: Choking Hazard. Blah blah blah. On the bottom, there's some nothing much to it. You get the legal crap, and you get it's recommended for ages three plus. There's this text here on the top that says Hero World. On the back here, there's one item that is available, which is this box set that features Bane, Catwoman, Nightwing, the Riddler, Robin. And that's about it. There's also another two set that features Batgirl and that uh, female Green Lantern. So that's about it for the, the, the package. Now let's release both Scarecrow and Two-Face. Out of their plastic prison. Here we got Scarecrow and Two-Face out of their package. Now let's start off with one of my favorite characters. And that's the reason why I picked it up. Is Harvey Dent. A.K.A. Two-Face. Take a look at the head scope here. Come on, focus. There we go. You get some nice head, head scope to it. You get like. One side is Harvey, the other's burnt Harvey. I mean, you get the little eyeliner on the eye there, which is kind of weird. You get the little eyebrow raising up. And also, you get the, the mouth expression on Harvey. You get a little, little serious mouth. While Two Face, the burnt version of him, has like this, you know, the little grrr thing. And also, you get the little eye. Red dimble right here. I mean, not much to it on the um, the the figure. I mean, the the burnt the, the burnt on his half face here reminds me of Batman Forever Two Face. Besides the the hair, cause I don't know that's what a burnt person looked like without hair. I'm not sure he was been burnt or acid. I mean, I've been I've been watching. Batman Forever and The Dark Knight. There are like both ways that Harvey became Two Face. Either he was thrown, either Harvey's been splashed by Ascent or he was burnt. Maybe it could be either way. Now take a look at the suit here. You get the little, you can see there's some molded buttons there. You get the little pink tie here. I mean, I have no idea why his outfit is all pink instead of like one half. Of the different color including his pants well i did some research on this this is like the rebirth version of two-face i mean that's how this character wears in the comics really i mean i'm not that complaining about it but it's just it's weird i mean how come comic book creator writer just just like leave the um the suit alone like give it like one half a different color or the other half the same color i mean i have no idea why on the back there's nothing much except there's a little slit there for the because you know every coat has a slit you can see some of the you see like this one coat is sticking it's like in the wrinkle you get a little collar there's a collar on his shirt there's a there's a little molded tie here you can see one hand's holding the coin, the other hand has just put on his pockets. Which is, I don't, well maybe. <laughs> get little buttons on each of the coat sleeves. And look at the coin here, you can see, I'm pretty sure there's nothing much bad about the coin. If you turn around, nothing much on it. Where's the, um, the stretch and the, um, ah oh man, Funko, you have one job. And also you can see the neck is one half either burned or ascended you can see the little molded fly there with a big old giant button nothing much on the pants here, just plain black 
get the little shoes there, nothing much to it, no molded shoelaces, nor nothing. And yes, he's stuck on these bases, just like one of those Hero World figurines. On the bottom of the base, you can see some legal crap. So, overall, I gotta say this, Two-Face figure is not that bad. Nor is that good. Now, let, next up, here we got Dr. Jonathan Crane, a.k.a. the Scarecrow. Now, take a look at this, um, this, um, expression here. I mean, it looks like he has the menacing look expression. His expression combines with the, um, the, uh, the, uh, Freddy Krueger with Scarecrow's mask. <laughs> Funny thing. Robert England, the guy who played Freddy Krueger, also voiced Scarecrow, even the Riddler in the Batman series. You get a little, little sack thing right here on the neck, on the towards the neck where the shirt is. You get the little noose on, on the um his neck here. You get a little noose on the waist there. I like how the hat turns out. You can see like little tears and. And the little thing just stop. I mean, you know, represents a scarecrow. You can see one hand holding his sigh, and the other hand is just like doing that dramatically way. Get a little torn on the sleeves as well, and the shirt too. And also, you can see some stitches on the pants there. Get a little torn there. Nothing much on the shoes. Nothing much on the back. And you can see some uh, stitches on his mouth. Maybe zooms closer. It makes it focus, focus. Focus, come on. <sighs> My phone won't focus on, there we go. You can see some stitches on the mouth there, and on the bottom nothing much, just a legal crap on. So, for overall, I say this Scarecrow figurine is quite okay, not that bad looking. Now, overall, what did I think about these um, figurines set? Well, they're okay. They're not that bad, they're not that good. They're okay. I mean, I really like how these figurines look I mean they remind me of one of those um Disney stores figurines that you see in, in the Disney store but I mean I have no idea why Funko were doing these figurines that look similar to the Disney store I mean hey it's Funko Funko has some ideas but I mean I do like the Aquaman said I now I'm gonna like this one I do want to pick I do like this set because of the um the paint, the skull, everything looks pretty well done. And this is the reason why I picked this setup because of Two Face. Because you know, Two Face is one of my first favorite DC characters. I mean, I'm lucky I found these guys. I've never seen them in person. I mean, I see some images that were leaked on the box set, and they were never seen. In stores, I have no idea why. Maybe they're canceled, but I'm glad I got these figurines at Target for two bucks. Not bad price, two bucks plus tax. So, overall, if you see them at Target, go ahead pick them up. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified new videos after you subscribe, and follow me on. Instagram and Twitter, both the links will be in the description down below. So, that's about it. This is JAR369. Goodbye.